One, in one of the indigenous traditions in Spanish, it's called Dia de las Animas. Anybody have an idea why it might be called that as opposed to Dia de los Muertos? Because Muertos means dead, and Animas means alive. So people don't believe that people die. That is, the spirit is still there. And so that's why it's called Dia de las Animas. Now it has its own names of different name, native names throughout the continent, but in Spanish that's what it would translate to, Dia de las Animas. Uh, again, just to signify that. Today is um, Dia de los Muertos. We're performing for CHSA, correct? Um, yeah, for CHSA. And we're here um, for a group of Fogarico Mistani. That's who we are. Um, and we're here today to perform and represent our culture and heritage. Um, I take part of this because it's part of my culture. Um, even if I'm not in Mexico, it's something that I celebrate. It's something that's meaningful to me. Um, it's about remembering those loved ones that have passed away. So the makeup is a traditional representation of the Day of the Dead. Um, so it was when, um, back in Mexico, the um, relatives would dress up as their loved ones and paint their face and dance and represent their culture and memory of their loved ones. So they're gone, but they're not forgotten. Um, and the dress is just a simple Veracruz dress that represents um, unity um, and also marriage ceremonies, because sometimes um, when death happens, life begins. I decided to go on and uh, do this uh, altar on my grandparents, um, basically because I don't know, I didn't get a chance to meet them. So I wanted to get to know more about them. Um, so I asked, went ahead and asked my mother what what really was something that represented them. Um, what did they like? What did they believe in? Um, my grandmother is this this one right here. That's my mom's side. Uh, the grandfather is over here, and. Um, we knew that she really enjoyed the seeds. Um, these are seeds from Nayarit, Mexico. Um, that's the part where they're from. The area that they're from is a little south of Guadalajara, Mexico. It's about two hours away. And um, so that's something that represented her that she always enjoyed uh, to have around her. This is a glass of water, which I learned that um, an altar should have, uh, representing um, the, uh, the livelihood of them. And then I also did on my grandfather's side a small tequila shot. Um, I knew he enjoyed that for my mother. It was um, something she described with the lime juice on the side. Um, rice is something else uh, that he enjoyed and these were uh, examples of bread that they liked at the time. So Day of the Dead, um, in my personal opinion, um, would have to be a day that we um, met, remember our um, past people who were here in the past. Um, kind of recognize those who have died on.